everything I had, everything I ever was. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. No, I'm sorry doesn't give me back my life. This ends now. No! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Welcome, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Gospel X, the Gospel According to the X-Men. This is my friend Henry, and uh, I'm Jonathan. So uh, we're going into an episode called The Rogue's Tale. And uh, I'm not quite sure, episode, what number is that? I think it's a 12. 12 with volume 2. Volume 1 or 2? Volume... Season 2. Season 2, sorry. Season 2. So, we just showed you a clip near the end of the uh, episode. and uh, But we'll probably like uh, look through the whole thing, right? So Henry, like uh, you first. What are the highlights of this episode? And what are some things that we want to focus on today? Well, I think the main um, mm -hmm. point of the story is that Rogue... She did something wrong. Mm. She wronged this person, uh, Miss Marvel, you know, Avengers, Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel. Uh, <laughs> different Captain Marvel. Not Shazam. <laughs> uh, regardless of, like, uh, so this is a regardless of whether she was forced to, no choice, but she did it. She did it. She uh, injured this person. She held on to her for so long that she absorbed all of her powers. Hence, that's where Rose's flight super strength came from, yeah. from Miss Marvel. Yeah. And, um, didn't know that, by the way. And, but in the process, she actually absorbed her consciousness inside of her and left uh, Miss Marvel in a comatose state in a hospital room. So, throughout the, throughout the uh, episode, at the beginning, she's haunted by the visions of this, this woman. Because Professor X, in order to help her to not be tormented, had really? her forget that entire, um... Past, <laughs> put it in the box and take it away. Trauma, <laughs> lock it away inside of her. Yeah, and now she's seeing visions of this this woman manifesting and, again, and that's tormenting her. Yeah. And she realizes and finally remembers that uh, it was what she did to Miss Marvel that's causing these um, this woman to appear. Yeah, and then throughout the whole episode, it was about uh, her journey through her guilt. First, so she realized that uh, this immense guilt and burden. And that Miss Marvel, like the images coming like in piecemeal, right? Uh, then uh, it could continue to grow, and then uh, to a point that she goes in a wall. Yep, she right. leaves. She doesn't know what's happening to her. Yeah, there it climaxes to this inner psychic battle yeah. between Rogue and Miss Marvel, and Miss Marvel is is um, her consciousness is fighting against Rogue, and all Rogue can say is she's sorry. Yeah. She's sorry. She she genuinely feels remorse for what she did to this person. Yeah. And um, so, like, uh, and then what happens right after that? Like, how did it, like, um, and now we showed you the uh, final uh, part of the this episode. What was uh, going on there? I think that what happened was Rogue was able to reconcile her past, her guilt, mm -hmm. and move forward with it. She finally recognizes where that guilt has come from. Whereas before, she kind of locked it away and kind of forgot about it. Kind of forgot about it, didn't know. Kind of lost its origins. Yeah. A lot of people, when they wrestle with the guilt, they wrestle with those inner demons yeah. that come about because of that. And, and usually, we only wrestle the parts of the uh, what's manifested. Yeah. The symptoms. Rogue Never is, the inside of what's really going on. Rogue is literally wrestling with a demon yeah, yeah, of, yeah. Uh, of her guilt. And... Then, if we go to the very end of the episode, you know, she apologizes. She did. She wishes that it never happened. Right. She reconciles and remembers uh, where where that guilt came from. Mm -hmm. And she tries to make amends for it. You know, when yeah. she visits uh, Captain Marvel at the end. And from the smile, it's left up to the viewer to... to Just make interpret, some interpretations. Interpret yeah. what it means. But from... Miss Marvel smiling at the end, you know, I kind of feel that it means that Miss Marvel understands and she forgives Rogue as well. All right. So to our viewers out there, so when uh, I'm sure that all of us have felt guilty before and uh, and some of us are still in the midst of guilt from past whatever, whatever circumstances we did to others, right? 
And so, uh, and sometimes we uh, tuck it away thinking that time will heal it by forgetting and letting it run through its course. But, um, but it doesn't, and it always manifests into something else, like anger, frustrations, emotional, like uh, erratic emotions sometimes, or, or even like uh, when people, our loved ones uh, uh, trigger something in us. Destructive behavior, and we, we addictions. Yeah, and then we respond with destructive behaviors, and we don't know why, and so we just go off to a psychiatrist and get some drugs. But <laughs> really, deep down, we have, uh, there is guilt, and it's because of some guilt. It could be possibly guilt. So Henry, like, uh, what are some steps that you would, would take away from this whole X Men episode? What are some steps that these pe our viewers, uh, that you would suggest that they could take steps to? Okay, this is a cliche, but steps <laughs> to freedom. Steps to freedom. <laughs> Isn't that a book? <laughs> Maybe. I I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure I, somebody wrote some, it. For some reason, it just dawned on me. I think there is a book called Twelve Steps to Freedom. Anyway, okay, but uh, step one. Step one. Maybe the only step is uh, that you have to go and confront that uh, that guilt, and you can't uh, bury it inside of yourself and forget about it. Because it's gnawing at you on the inside and um, you got to go dig deep. And even if it's painful and even if you feel pain from kind of reliving that moment, yeah. you have to go back in and you kind of have to, to reconcile that. Yeah, it's interesting. The Mystique is the one that triggered it. And then uh, Rogue reacted to it with negative destructive behavior. Then, uh, but in order for Rogue to uh, get into that pass was the help of Gene. Yep. Jean was just <clears throat> helping her to, to guide through that guide her. So it's interesting you know, for, it's, uh, for our viewers and for ourselves, some, one lesson is quite possibly that it's very important to have a trusted friend or a person, at least, that you trust that can um, guide us through that path. Sometimes you can't deal with it by yourself. And on with, your yeah, own. on your own with a one leader of Jack Daniels. Yeah, you just can't, just can't do, do that. <laughs> right? You need so. an outside perspective to help you through it. Right. Okay. Jack can't help that. Um, then, so that's the step one. And um, so probably the only step, you think? I think so. Yeah. Like uh, from the, from this episode. Yeah. I mean, we could talk about guilt forever, forever. right? There's yeah. a different method of, uh, for, for everyone. But, um, but I think, I think step, that one step one is, one is to, yeah, you just it. have to recognize. And just trust that that whole process, at, at least the process begins. The process of healing steps up to freedom. And I think uh, for me, my takeaway is the ultimate principle is that time does not heal it. Time doesn't heal. Time does not allow us to forget things. Um, we think that, you know, if we could just leave it away, tuck it away, it'll just kind of deteriorate and decompose. But it doesn't. And uh, so it, all it takes is one trigger. It could be <laughs> a mystique in your life. <laughs> or or even just your, a loved one or a child that misbehaves. Suddenly it just clicks on again and then we get into a destructive behavior again. Anywho, thanks again for watching another episode of Gospel X. This is Henry, and my, I am Jonathan. Till next time, have a blessed week.